guys, welcome back to the Antique Salvage Collector. Uh, it's May 28th here, 2021. It's a beautiful evening here in Cape Breton. It's been a couple weeks I've been absent from making videos. Um, I've been very busy though, and I'm just going to do a quick update video here what we've been doing at the Antique Salvage Collector here. Uh, a lot of things have changed in the last uh, month here since spring hit, and I'm going to walk you through and uh, show you some of those changes. Um, saw my last video there, you can see my new 70, uh, 78 International uh, three-ton truck there. Um, here we've uh, scraped off the um, driveway here, the old driveway. This is now going to be a grassed area. We're going to put grass down here for the uh, for my sister's side of the building here. Uh, I raked all this out behind me here between my place and this building. Uh, grass is starting to grow. Uh, if you follow me down here, you can see we've done walkways. I got all the walkways finally done here in the last uh, few weeks. So concrete walkways wrapping around the building now, so that's good. Um, if you follow me down here, uh, the plan here is to put a fence across here. We'll put a big privacy fence from the corner of the building here over to those birch trees. Uh, and this is going to isolate uh, the garage portion of the building uh, and create a whole bunch of privacy. Um, if you look back here, you can see things are changing. I'm cutting down trees. Uh, I'm opening up the landscape. We're doing a lot of landscaping back here. I've dropped some type 2 down here. We've got the ground built up a bit here now. Um, if you look down here, walkways are done. Uh, I've started the outside portion of the uh, garage. If you've been following the uh, Facebook here, you've seen the photos. So I finally got a couple uh, gas pumps put up, a couple signs put up, BA letters are put up. Um, framed up here for the gas pump island. So if you look down there in the corner, if anybody remembers Mercer's gas station on the Esplanade where they're building the new NSDC, that's the old service station hut. Uh, when they closed that up, Gary was nice enough to give that to me. Uh, so that's going to go in the center of the island. I got two matching BA pumps over there if you saw on the Facebook page. Uh, I got those from Chad Hiltz down at uh, Bad Chad Customs a couple years ago. Um, so matching original BA pumps. I believe they are, I can't remember, I'll have to look them up what they are. Uh, these are 515s, or no, that's my visible. Actually, I have a visible pump over there strapped to a tree. That's a Wayne 515 pump. Uh, so the three pumps are gonna go on there, the two matching BA pumps with the globe. We got the visible pump that's gotta get redone. Hut's going on the island. Um, if you look over here, lots of trees are being cleared. We're clearing the land. We're prepping for the, where the second building's gonna be going over here, where the boneyard is. Uh, again, like I said, the uh, front of the building, we got, we're finally getting that put together so you can kind of see the vision coming together here now. Uh, I'm still looking for a couple signs to finish off the outside of the building. So if anybody's got two vertical porcelain tire signs, I'd like to get two of those put next to the garage door. And I'm also looking to uh, get an air meter put there on the end as well. So come on over this way in the garage here. We'll, we'll walk in. I've changed a lot of things there in the last couple weeks as well. Um, trying to make more room. 800 square feet filled up pretty quickly, and of course we're trying to make more room. Uh, this nice BA transmission can here unfortunately became a casualty of four years of storage. Um, I had that in my truck box over there, and it was inside of an old oak uh, display cabinet, and I guess it wasn't getting air or something, but it basically bled all the entire paint off. But when I put that can in there, it was almost near mint. Just didn't, but cost of doing business. So come on in. Uh, if you look in here, we're changing a lot of things. Uh, I took down the uh, super line sign. I didn't like the fact it was hidden behind the couch and you couldn't see it. I didn't find it did, you know, wasn't doing its due diligence there. Uh, shell sign came down. Uh, I put up my big Ford uh, eight foot by eight foot Ford tractor sign. I uh, got those a couple years ago from my buddy Brian. Um, I actually had the contact information for the uh, gentleman who actually owned that sign and ran a Ford tractor company back in the uh, 60s and 70s. So uh, I got some plans coming up. Hopefully COVID disappears on us soon and I got some plans of what I want to do. So uh, stay tuned for that. I've got a couple contacts I've made and I won't tell you what, my, what it is I'm going to be doing yet, but I think you'll like it. Um, Larger cans take up too much floor space. There's just too many of them. So as you can see, I took down all the little signs that were here. The shell sign. I'm already forgetting what else was there. There's something else in that corner. I think it might've been just, oh, it was the uh, Marifax sign went outside in the building. So I moved uh, porcelain signs outside because obviously they're gonna last forever and the elements aren't gonna hurt those. So tin ones went on the ceiling, porcelain ones went outside. Brought in the eight foot sign. That's got lights behind it. 
Uh, it doesn't light up quite the way I wanted it to, but hey, it's not coming down now. Uh, cans were put up. Uh, another sign there I bought sometime last year off uh, Danny. I finally went and picked that puppy up, and I put that there just because it fit the space perfectly, as you can tell. Uh, moved the couches around. Toolboxes used to be over there. That, that's what also was in that corner. So toolboxes came over here. Uh, Coke machine went outside. That was always the original plan. Toolboxes came here by the door. Eventually, they're going to find their way outside this building. That's the plan. So we're slowly getting them closer to the door. Um, big mess here on the floor. Don't worry about that. Pick up this puppy. Nice, fully working. 1950s Viking refrigerator. Huh? How cool is that? Look at that. It's in there keeping all my liquor cold right now. But she is ice, ice cold. Works like a charm. So my plan for that is gonna paint this puppy blue. I got some Pepsi decals on the way, and we're gonna make this look like an old Pepsi refrigerator, um, just for something different. Uh, so yeah, so as we keep walking through, those portion signs are going outside. Uh, the idea in here is tops coming off the Bronco. Summer's here. I'm gonna have to pull that puppy in. So couch is one against the wall. I've got this set up where all I have to do is slide this couch in, Bronco comes in, Bronco goes out when I want to use the garage. So everything's usable here uh, with as little hassle as possible. That's the whole idea behind here. The space is always remains usable. Um, I changed a lot of things, a lot of signs around on the ceiling. Uh, when I was putting this place together, I was just throwing things, throwing things wherever I could find them just to get them out of the way because um, it's hard to know how to put a display together if you don't see everything you have. So in the initial setup process back in January, February, it was just stick it to the wall and we'll move it later. So I'm in that process now where we're actually moving things. Um, yeah, so there's a few things uh, on the walls there you probably didn't see before, but they were here. Um, back here, so all these cabinets got pushed back to the wall. Had the uh, countertop displays kind of set up like I do over there, but then I realized there's really no need to ever get back there. And now that I got the uh, 78 to go along with the 87, both of those vehicles will actually fit here in the wintertime. So to maximize space and usage, I push them against the wall because at the end of the day, there's nothing in this Irving case here that I'm ever going to have to take out to show you. You can see it all from the case. Um, Got the five gallon cans off the ceiling, the majority of them. There's still a couple over there, but I hated them. I hated the fact it looked ugly, it looked out of place, and again, I just threw them there because I needed them out of the way and I needed them off the floor when I was putting this together. So, found some shelves I had out back, put some five gallon cans there, moved some Irving stuff around, found a few more Irving cans I had, uh, pushed all the Irving stuff back on those displays, so it's working, it, it looks good on me. <laughs> Uh, BA cabinet, if you remember the BA cabinet, I always talked about that. Um, we're going to do a BA video probably in the fall. Um, it's probably going to be like a two or three part video. Uh, BA takes up the bulk of my collection and there's a lot to talk about and there's a lot to show you. So it's probably going to be a three part uh, series. Uh, but I didn't like how cluttered it was. If you go back and you look at my previous videos, this cabinet was so cluttered, I just I hated it. I like things that have their own space and not to be over cluttered. There's still a lot of stuff in here, but it looks a lot better than it did. And the reason for that is, is I picked up another cabinet. I always buying cabinets. So this is a Canada Post cabinet. And yes, it turns. Ooh, too bad it didn't light up though. Um, so all this stuff that's filling this cabinet, and it came over here one night, and within 45 minutes, that all went over there and went into here. But that was all in there. And like I said, I crowded that cabinet. Um, I changed actually that BA cabinet as well. So they all they all got changed around here to try to make things a little more presentable and make it look like it all you know it has a home and belongs somewhere. Uh, a few more things uh, went on the ceiling. So there used to be signs over where the five gallon cans were. They came down. They went up on the ceiling. The tire signs, the Atlas sign. They changed that stuff around. Um, I got some stuff over here. I'm getting ready to send off to the laminators. I got a lot of some paperwork here. I really want to preserve. Actually, this is a cool one here. I picked up a. I'll show you that. That under black light actually glows. That's actually a nice piece of paper there. Showing the tires, the antifreeze cans, which I have over there, and some urban batteries. So, unfortunately, paper doesn't last forever, but I'm going to get that stuff laminated. Uh, not too much changed here. Oh, yes, look at this though. This did change. I changed the Ford display. I wasn't happy with it. Again, it was an example of something I threw together just to get things out of the way and get them so I can see them. So I wasn't happy with what I was seeing. 
and I knew that when I put it together originally. So I didn't like the fact my uh, family of fine products, Ford sign, another LA Steel sign. Um, we're going to talk about that in another video on LA Steel alone. So that was plastered up on the ceiling and nobody could see it. And the part of the reason nobody could see it is because when you step back and you had all these big signs hanging, it was hidden. So unless you were standing right where I am, you weren't seeing the sign. And that sign is a beautiful plastic lens you know, the original sign, which again, I'm going to talk about in the LA Steel video. Um, so I changed that. Uh, I got a few more uh, showroom uh, things hung up here. Uh, if you saw the Facebook page, the, Ron the Bronco and the Ranger display I just got. Um, this cardboard 66 pickup one is a 60, yeah, 66 Ford pickups. That came from LA Steel. So I changed this stuff around. Uh, a couple things I got from my buddy Steve, the 50 year Mustang sign. Um, I got probably an hour and a half of video footage from my buddy Steve. Um, I went to his place, he came here. Uh, stay tuned, that video's coming soon too. Um, he had a 2013 Boss 302. Gotta have a green Mustang, 444 horsepower, beautiful car. Um, anyway, so I picked up uh, another four o'clock, the 50 year sign from him. Um, he gave me this here as well to add to my graduate collection, just the history of television. It's, it's, a, it's a frame puzzle, but it's pretty cool. It's a good conversation piece. I uh, found some more milk bottles I had that I uh, didn't know I had, but found. And I picked up a couple other ones that I didn't have yet in the collection. So my milk collection grew too, but uh, we're going to talk about that in another video. Um, once winter comes around, we're going to have a lot of videos. We're going to have a lot of things to talk about. Right now I'm trying to take advantage of the spring, the summer, the nice weather we have, and I'm trying to get the outside of this building the way I want it. Uh, what else can I tell you change? Yes, come on here in the bathroom. We're still buying things. We're still finding things, we're still buying things. So if you come in here, this is new. This I just got the other day. I do gotta give a shout out to Jeffrey, Jeffrey Cabotrail Antiques. He put me on to the, to the gentleman who had this. This is a really early, uh, 1900s 1920s penny scale it's a lollipop penny scale and it works everything works it's beautiful condition i brought it home there the other day me and john went and picked it up uh weighs a ton but i uh, got my bar keepers out here i polished it cleaned it came out beautiful so yeah so that stuff changes uh yeah new addition there uh yeah i don't think there's too much else here at the, the moment but yeah, so uh, a couple more Mad Potter's pieces came, a couple more uh, automotive stuff came. Always finding things, always buying things. I'm just looking around here to see if there's anything else that stands out that I didn't bring up here. Uh, I don't think there is, so yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on what we've been doing here. I haven't done a video in almost a month, but, uh, but I've been very busy over the last four weeks. Um, most of the stuff here, I'm out here, I'm doing it myself. Uh, I do get a little bit of help from time to time, but the majority of it, I'm out here... Uh, all day, like I'm filthy right now. I've been cutting trees, burning brush here the better part of the day. So, uh, yeah. So anyways, listen, stay tuned. Keep in touch. Keep watching the Facebook page. I'm always posting pictures on the Facebook page. So if you're, um, go ahead, uh, jump over to Facebook there, like and follow the page. I'm always putting up photos of new things, uh, pics that I'm on, different things I'm acquiring. So, uh, yeah, hit over there, hit like on that. Um, I'll tell you right now, if I don't know you, I'm not going to add it to the friend page, but I don't put anything on, on my actual profile page for Antiques Alex Collector. Everything goes on the actual Facebook page. So uh, don't worry if I don't hit uh, accept on the friend request. I think i got about a dozen there right now, people I don't even know. But just go over to the page, hit like and follow on that. Um, hit subscribe on YouTube, and you'll never miss a video. But uh, yeah, so that, that's what we've been doing for four weeks. Uh, stay tuned. A lot of things are uh, changing and uh, a lot of things are coming along. And I think you're going to like the, uh, the end product. So thanks for joining us, guys. And we'll see you again soon.